Dave Warren in for Craig here. Good afternoon. Well, we had a warm breeze out there today. The sunshine, a few clouds around. This is our camera in Fort Lauderdale, and we're looking at a few passing showers here across the area. But look at the temperatures, lower 90s here. So Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Key West, just above 90 degrees across the region. No 80s. In fact, a little warmer there in West Kendall. So a little warm breeze today and a lack of showers. Uh, they're not completely out of the area. We are tracking a few on real time Doppler. So you may see a brief little passing shower. They're starting to pick up just a bit. A little band trying to develop here uh, just south of Homestead. But look what's happening here up to the north. That sea breeze is finally developing. Uh, it's been in Palm Beach County here for a while, but maybe you'll see a nice little breeze coming in along Deerfield Beach. It is developing just a few showers, so uh, could see a few early showers here this evening and otherwise a warm and uh, mild night tonight. West wind, northwest wind about 5 to 10 miles an hour, so just a light breeze here. Watching Umberto there, it continues to move east northeast away from the coast, but expanding in in size and the wind speeds increasing, so we'll see those waves kind of work their way south through the area. Even though it's just a light breeze right there, there's that sea breeze in West Palm Beach at to nine miles an hour out of the east. But otherwise, a west wind here this evening. A little tail of moisture from the storm is right over the area, but we have this dry air uh, that's moving in from the north. That'll start to win out tomorrow, so we'll keep the showers mostly out of the forecast. Still may see a few, but much of the area staying dry and very warm again tomorrow. Activity picked up currently. There it goes tonight. Look tomorrow, though. Things are pretty quiet. Maybe just a stray shower, but otherwise a sunny and hot day tomorrow. Category one, but becoming a likely a major hurricane as it moves towards Bermuda. This will be Wednesday afternoon and Thursday. We'll watch this closely and then turning and moving into the North Atlantic. It's the waves that are the big problem here as the wind speeds increase. Those waves increase going out from the storm and working down the coast here, right down the east coast there. So we'll see the waves actually increasing, even though the storm is moving away. There's a moderate to high risk of rip currents. The waves increase and we have that gusty ocean breeze coming in. High pressure builds in, so the wind really starts to pick up late in the week. That'll make it pretty rough here Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We have a small craft advisory in effect. The, the winds north and northeast at five to ten knots. Seas about five to seven feet. There's a light chop on the bays. Temperature tomorrow 94 hot, uh, mainly dry. Much of the area is seeing that bright sunshine as that winds about five to ten miles an hour. Watching that area in the Atlantic, then also in the Gulf, no immediate threat, but we're watching closely here. Lower 90s with the wind starting to pick up Thursday, Friday, and through the weekend. Dave.